Hi, it's Mrs. Leonardo. I want to show you how to use your online reading log. In order to access your reading log, you will have to go to Google Classroom. However, this particular tutorial will not show you how to access Google Classroom. This tutorial will show you how to fill out your reading log once you've opened it up. As a language arts teacher, I've seriously heard it all. Reading is boring. I don't like to read. There's nothing fun to read. I hate reading logs. I've lost my reading log. Can I get another reading log? Wait, we had a reading log due this month? I've heard it all. When I was a kid, I enjoyed reading. I read all of the time. However, I hated reading log. Sometimes I read for two hours on a Monday. Sometimes I skipped reading Tuesdays and Wednesdays, but I would read longer on Thursdays and Fridays and I'd spend all day Saturday and Sunday reading. I remember getting so mad at my 7th grade teacher for docking me points for not reading every day. I thought, but I actually read for 6 hours this week. Just because I didn't read for Tuesday and Wednesday, I'm getting docked points? Brutal. And I was angry. As a teacher, my goal is to encourage you to read. I want you to become a lifelong reader. Reading is powerful. You can't learn without reading. Read articles, read pamphlets, read graphic novels, read fiction, read nonfiction. Read what you want, read what you love. Sometimes branch out, read what you don't like. I'm not a graphic novel fan, but sometimes I read a graphic novel just to really see, do I really hate it or is there, is it, what, what's going on here? I want you to read because you're interested in what you're reading. I want you to increase your reading stamina. So this year, I'm turning things around and I'm focusing on reading goals. So let's take a look at that. So once you've gone to Google Classroom and you've found your reading goals and log for trimester one, the first thing you need to notice is the goals and log. So down here at the very bottom, you will see a tab that's for goals and one that's for the actual log. So in class, we will spend some time setting our hours, our goals for how many hours we wanna read this trimester, how many pages we want to read, how many books we want to read. So in class, we'll do this. So let's say, for example, this trimester, I want to spend a total of 50 hours reading. Now that's a lot of reading, but I have to make sure, am I gonna be able to do that? And in class, we'll go over these particular steps about how we set a goal and what happens if we don't reach a goal. We'll go over that in class, okay? But let's say I wanna read for 50 hours, I want to read 2,000 pages, and I want to read 15 books this trimester. So if I'm someone who loves to read and I read all the time, I might be able to accomplish this goal. But if I know I'm not the best reader, okay, then I'm going to have to adjust my goal to fit me. So you'll notice that here's the goal over here. Here's the number of pages here for this particular goal. Here's the goal for books. Now, this right now, currently you're at 0%, 0, 0. This will change once you start adding your book. So here's the log. I put the date. Today is August 20th, so I can put August 20th. I put the book title. So when you record here, you're going to put how much you read each day. If you miss a day, don't penalize yourself. Okay, write down or type down when you read. So let's say I read Freak, The Mighty, and it's by Rodman Silbrick. And the number of pages I read on this particular day, let's say I read 15 pages and I read for 30 minutes. Notice what happens when I click on the goals. You can see this little green, I'm at 1%, so I have some work to do. I've read one book. I'm gonna type, let's say tomorrow I read some more, Freak the Mighty. Notice it automatically comes up for me. There it is, I read a total of 20 pages and I read for 45 minutes. I go back, I check my goals. So as you read, you get to see how much you've read. Notice it still has one book. Let's see if I try and change the book. Now I'm gonna read on eight, 22, and I wanna read Bud Not Buddy. I type in Bud Not Buddy, I type in the author's name, Christopher. At some point I'll be able to type here, Christopher Paul Curtis. And on this particular day, I, was a, I really liked what I read. I was able to read 25 pages and I actually read for 35 minutes. Oops, I spelled but not buddy wrong. Now notice what happens. My goals increase. Look how many books I'm reading. Every year I always have students who lose their reading logs, a sibling drops something on it, they can't find it, and 
they get disorganized so I think this is a great way to keep this all online you can access it from anywhere iPad iPhone Android device computer laptop at school at home on the go wherever but my main focus is the goals I really want you to look at this green bar and really think like oh yes I'm almost there this is for trimester one I will grade this reading log at the end of trimester one trimester two we start all over again that's it okay so if you have any questions about how to fill out the reading log let me know Remember, there's two tabs, goals, log. We'll fill out the goals in class. You complete the log every day when you read. Okay, that's it for me. Talk to you soon.